Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to record another response inside a topic in order to demonstrate for you the whiteboard feature as well as live digital inking in the Flipgrid recorder. So again, to toggle into whiteboard or blackboard, we simply come over here to the side and click on the whiteboard button. And again, we can choose from whiteboard or blackboard. Now we're going to start off in whiteboard. Notice that the digital inking tools become available right away. We have the color bar. We can just slide this up to change the color of our ink. Once you're ready to start showing your work and narrating your thought process, go ahead and hit the record button. There are so many possible use cases for the whiteboard and blackboard feature in the Flipgrid recorder. For instance, for math, students could toggle into whiteboard as they are recording and they could showcase their steps to solving a mathematical equation such as 4x plus 4 equals 20. Eight. Now, the fabulous thing about the Flipgrid recorder is not only can they show the steps to solving the equation, they can also talk through the steps and talk through their thought process as they're solving the mathematical equation thus allowing students to truly demonstrate and showcase their learning and understanding. Now, in addition to demonstrating steps to solving math equations, let's go ahead and switch into Blackboard and clear that math equation. We could go ahead and sketch out a diagram for science, save the water cycle. Again, students could be recording in Flipgrid recorder um, as they sketch this diagram, as they label the diagram, and explain the concept. Now, as I mentioned before, there are so many other possible or potential use cases for the whiteboard and blackboard in Flipgrid. For example, in language arts, students could actually sketch an illustration that accompanies a piece of written work that they've created. They could even do something similar in social or draw out a timeline of events. They could uh, do a mind map or a brainstorm in order to quickly jot down ideas and organize their thoughts. They could also create sketch notes for a wide variety of subject areas. It's really up to you and your students how you are going to or how they are going to use whiteboard or blackboard mode in order to share their voice and express themselves. <laughs>